Hey, welcome back. Uh, had a great live stream, uh, hit 500 subscribers. Uh, it just keeps inching up from there. So hopefully uh, we can keep the momentum going. Um, but we're gonna get to a bourbon review right after this. All right, guys, we have Horse Soldier. Um, I picked this up in Louisville, but this is not a Kentucky bourbon, okay? So this is um, aged minimum of two years, handmade and bottled by American Freedom Distillery in Columbus, Ohio. The rest of the stuff on here uh, just talks a bunch of hype about stuff and there's nothing really, talks about the Horse Soldiers. So American Freedom Distillery, uh, it's just straight bourbon whiskey, non-chill, filtered, forged in fire. It's 43.5% uh, ABV, 87 proof. So it's on the lighter side of 90, where I, where I like to stay. Pulled the plastic off, trust me, rustled with it a, quite a bit. Uh, but the cork has not been out, so let's give her a pop. All right. And pour a little. If you notice behind me on the shelf, uh, the nosing kit is still there. So I made a nosing kit to give away. We did the drawing, we did the wheel uh, on the live stream, had to be present to win. And Todd from 21090 won the nosing kit. So since they have a channel and, and they are not newbies at this, they said, you know what, we're gonna re-gift it. So we made a deal with each other. I'm going to their live stream this coming Tuesday um, <clears throat> and they are going to do another drawing for the nosing kit to their audience. And I'll be on there with them when we, when, when, whoever wins wins. Now, along with this nosing kit comes three sample bourbons and a blind virtual private tasting with me and Todd from 21090. So uh, we will send you the samples. We will jump on there and walk you through those bourbons uh, along and give you tips on what to use in the nosing kit uh, for what you should be getting out of that bourbon. Speaking of, let's see what we get out of Horse soldier here. Okay, uh, vanilla caramel, of course. Uh, it's a, a medium dark amber. Uh, it's not too, I've seen pale, uh, paler than this before. Not too bad. Legs are starting to develop. They're medium. Uh, maybe a hint, a hint of spice on the nose. Getting a little cherry, uh, like a, a not not a fresh cherry, but like a, a maraschino type uh, cherry aroma coming out. Now it's it's not very high alcohol. Well, I say that for, for whiskey bourbons. Um, I mean it's eighty seven proof, but it's it's the legs are coming along pretty well. Pretty good oils in here, so probably gonna be a good tongue coating. Yeah, a little apple, little, I mean, it's basic bourbon notes, uh, but then there's there's a little more going on on top of it. Probably had a decent char on the barrel from the amount of vanilla and caramel. Uh, those wood sugars came out. But it says uh, two years, a uh, minimum, two years. It doesn't say how long, it, there's no other age statement on it. So yeah, not on this bottle. Uh, nice little copper looking uh, label on there. All right, let's get the tongue wet. I don't like to give a lot of notes on that first sip, but let's, let's get her started here. Okay. Not bad. A lot more wood uh, oak coming on the palate than on the nose. Uh, sweet, 
It's a it's on the sweeter side of uh, of, of the bourbons. Uh, not quite Elijah Craig honeysuckle, but um, there is some spice kick to this though. Coating across the tongue fairly well. Honey comes through, like a wild honey, uh, along with that caramel, uh, maybe even a little toffee uh, in there. But um, the finish, pepper, peppery, uh, a little spicy uh, on the finish. Hmm. All in all, not a bad little sipper. Not bad at all. Uh, fairly, uh, I mean, it's on the lower end of complex, but you know, it's moderately complex, put it that way. Uh, no earthy tones coming out, uh, maybe a little bit of cedar, uh, in there as well. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it has a lot of notes kicking, but it, it doesn't like flood your brain too bad. Yeah, cedary with, with uh, a little all spicy kick to it. Probably has some rye in it. Uh, I don't know the mash bill on it. All I'm bringing you is what, what it says on the bottle. Um, I think I mentioned it was Columbus, Ohio. So um, yeah, that's, that's all we have to go off of. <laughs> but uh, as far as uh, beginner bourbon, maybe not. Maybe it's that middle tier bourbon uh, i think that you know maybe the lower end of that middle tier but still really pleasurable to sip on now again it's you know this may be the afternoon starter you know type thing at, at 87 proof uh you know before you start your night but uh no it's not bad it doesn't have a lot of deep dark notes to it and it kind of falls flat on the finish uh, after a couple of swallows. It's kind of gone. Um, but other than that, no, it's, it's uh, pleasant to drink. Yeah, a little buttery, caramelly note there. Uh, very easy to drink, no singe at all. Uh, it's not hot. It's not a hot bourbon at all. Um, I mean, it's uh, pretty easy to drink. And I, these are the ones I call dangerous because I can drink them like tea. And then, you know, it's still even at 87 proof, you're gonna feel it if you uh, swig these things. But uh, no, very enjoyable, like it. Two thumbs up if you can get your hands on a bottle of it. Uh, I would say it, it's just above like a base bourbon. Uh, in your, your progression, but I think this is a good go-to uh, on, on that trail uh, to step up from a base bourbon to maybe this as the next step and then work your way on up from there. So cheers, guys. As always, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications, and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.